Welcome to On the Road with Craig and Linda, where every day is an adventure. And please help us grow this channel. We ask three things. Like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Enjoy the video. The Happy Wife, Happy Life episode. Checking out the Mercantile in Pawhuska, Oklahoma. I know Linda's really excited about coming here. Let's step inside. All right, all you ladies, prove me wrong. Linda says this will be a top watched video, so share it with all your friends. Does anybody know what the original name of this town was? Deep Ford. And it was established in 1872. Linda is in shopping heaven. And they kept on showing Linda all the ways that she could spend her money here. She definitely is happy about coming here. And there's even a Barbie doll as Pioneer Woman. Mission accomplished. Time to catch a little lunch and always save room for some dessert. Pastries. There isn't anything better. There goes the diet. <laughs> oh, it's painful. Painful to be this close. Right. So now, of course, we got to go upstairs and check it out. And here's some interesting trivia. The first Boy Scout troop was organized in Paul Huska. I must say they did a beautiful job at restoring this building. And Linda couldn't get up the stairs fast enough. And normally this place is packed. They average about 6,000 visitors a day and up to 15,000 on peak days. This is for all you people on the Food Network. Oh, that looks so good. Linda has her eye on the red velvet cupcake. Time to check out the town. Since Reed Drummond opened the Mercantile in 2016, there's been a resurgence to this town. Linda says you can never have too many gifts. Time to check out the boarding house. The staff was very helpful and told us stories of the heritage of this town. Let's go upstairs. is known as an eight-room cowboy luxury hotel. Just make sure you make your reservations in advance. And the one thing I must say, everything in this town is very clean and well-kept. Check out this building coming up. Look at that wedge. I love that architecture. This store is tempting me. It puts the saddles out and say, do not sit on them. It's testing the little boy and me to sit on them. For all you pizza lovers, a wood-fired pizza. Linda is so excited, she can hardly contain herself. Just look at that smile on lovely Linda's face as she opens the door. And the smell when you walk in here is amazing. Just a warning, if you're on a diet, do not go in here. Mmm, delicious. And in the summertime, there's lines out the door. This would be funny. Imagine if you walked all the way up those stairs and then you remembered you forgot something. 
and had to walk all the way down and all the way up again. The Historic Whiting Hotel. It was originally built in the 1920s for newlyweds and oil field workers. Somebody better tell this guy he's got a bear in the back. And if you notice, all the suites are up on the second floor. I can tell they had a JC Penney's here at one time. I don't know what it is, but Linda loves that Zenith sign. This is another view I find amazing. I wonder what building that is up there. Time to leave Paul Huska and go to the lodge on the Drummond Ranch. Now if you're going to the lodge, it's a little bit outside of town, down some old dusty roads. What a spectacular view. I can see where they come here. Linda is so excited to be here. It's like a kid at Disneyland. What a beautiful view. This really is the family guest house. After a hard day of ranching, how nice would it be to kick back and have a beer and enjoy in the view. Linda just can't wait to get inside. Now Re, if you need an assistant, call up Linda anytime, she's available. famous food pantry that Linda's been talking about. Be honest with me, ladies. How many of you wanted to climb this ladder? Let's take a walk around and check out the lodge. Hey, Cousin Ree, when's the next family get together? Yep, real ranchers live here. Time to check out the backside and the bedrooms. walking through, I'm not sure, am I on the Food Network or the House Beautiful? I can't find Linda. I wonder where she went. There she is! At first, when Linda said, let's go to Paul Huska, I wasn't that thrilled. But after coming here, it was another adventure that I really enjoyed. Again, Linda's like a kid at Disneyland, running far ahead of me. Spoiler alert, watch how excited Linda gets. Linda definitely got excited about holding that prop. That's how I felt when I held Babe Ruth's bat. Check out our earlier video, the Louisville Slugger Museum and Tour. Definitely some heavy duty cooking going on here. I bet you every woman at home would love to have a kitchen like this. 
One last thing I gotta say, there better be no guys watching all the way through the end of this video. Linda keeps on telling me it's a girl's thing. As always, we always like to thank the people that open up their facilities to us. Thank you, Drummonds, for letting us enjoy the lodge. This is a real happy dance. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed it. And now we ask us three things. First of all, give us a big thumbs up. Secondly, hit that subscribe button. And third, share it with all your friends. Thanks for watching us and catch us on our next adventure.